for Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the work week. Your weather headlines today include another warm and windy day today with more of those flooding concerns. But the difference between today and yesterday will be that we add some storm potential to the mix as we go from this afternoon into this evening. And that is just going to be the beginning of an active pattern that really ramps up as we get into our Thursday. But we're still keeping a very close eye on our waterways. Here are all the waterways that are currently under either a watch or a warning. So the Ogden River expecting generally minor flooding where the Weber River is in a watch expected to be above action stage. The Little Bear River near Paradise has actually been taken out of a flood warning, but we're still going to see the water levels near action level action level stage, I should say. Immigration Creek minor flooding, but for the severe river, we could see moderate flooding and there's even a chance for the Dolores River in southeastern Utah and Grand County that we could see major flooding. So a high, I'll highlight two of the rivers, the South Fork Ogden River, where right now it is in minor flood stage. It could drop a little bit going into tomorrow, but then could climb again going into our Friday, maybe getting close to that moderate flood stage before some cooler temperatures result in some lowering water levels by the end of this upcoming weekend. But for the Dolores River right now, sitting in that moderate flood stage, but as we go from Friday into Saturday, there's actually the chance that it could climb to major flood stage. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on all of our waterways. But when it comes to the runoff as we go throughout the next couple of days, just keep in mind, isolated flooding has and will continue to occur over the next few days. Waterways will be running high, fast, cold, and extremely dangerous. Make sure that you're keeping your distance away from those fast moving waterways of Avoid slot canyons, especially in central and southern Utah, stay up to date. But with the cooler temperatures moving in as we go into this upcoming weekend, that should help ease some of the high flows. The caveat there will be as we add wet weather to the mix, if we see rainfall on top of the snowpack, that could result in those higher flows continuing. So a lot to keep track of when it comes to our waterways across the Beehive State over the next several days. We'll continue to keep you posted. In the meantime, we got mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. The view from Utah Lake looking nice. It's a little bit hazy out there, and that's because we have those strong winds and got a little bit of haze from some of that blowing dust in the air. Temperatures are generally ranging right now in the 60s and 70s already, but Park City currently sitting at 53 degrees. Daytime highs today are going to be very similar compared to what we saw yesterday with daytime highs generally ranging between the 70s and 80s. But if you're in Park City, you'll see that daytime high in the middle 60s. Once again, a daytime high of 81 in Salt Lake City, 81 degrees in St. George. 81 is very seasonal for St. George, but the average high for Salt Lake City today, 67. So it'll be well above those seasonal averages. And a lot of that is thanks to that straight southerly flow. St. George gets cool thanks to that upslope flow, but that southerly wind really helps warm up those temperatures in the Salt Lake Valley. High pressure is currently moving away. And the low pressure that you see spinning off the California coastline is going to start to work its way in our direction. But before the bulk of it gets here tomorrow, it will send some energy through as we go through today. And that will bring the chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms across portions of the Beehive State. We already showed you that we do have a few showers down in southern Utah. But as we go from this afternoon to this evening, those showers and thunderstorms could find their way even as far north as the Wasatch Front. So if you have any evening plans in northern Utah, that's something that you want to keep in mind. Keep your eyes to the sky. Weather calms down a little bit going into the overnight hours holding on to the chance at least into the eastern portion of the state. But then as that low pressure works its way in our direction by tomorrow afternoon, we'll be looking at more chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms. The best chance looks like it's going to be in northern Utah and west of I-15, but then more energy could be arriving going into our Friday. So that's just going to be the beginning of an active pattern where we're just going to have above a slight chance in northern Utah today, but then that chance increases for our Thursday as that low pressure moves in, drops a little bit for Friday, but then we'll be looking at a pretty decent chance for showers and thunderstorms for both Saturday and Sunday, and also those daytime highs will be dropping closer to where they should be for this time of year, really starting tomorrow. For St. George, the daytime high will go from the lower 80s for today. will be in the upper 60s by tomorrow. Extra cloud coverage, strong winds, scattered showers and thunderstorms, a possibility. A slight chance lingers on Friday in St. George, but mostly dry conditions through this weekend will result in moderating temperatures by Monday into Tuesday. Should be close to 80 degrees again in St. George. Then along the Wasatch Front, upper 70s and low 80s today. That chance for wet weather increases this evening. Not a guarantee, but that chance will be there. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for our Thursday and Friday and temperatures will go from the 70s to daytime highs in the 60s. Then Friday through early next week, it looks like we'll kind of settle into daytime highs in the 60s, overnight lows in the 40s and holding on to that chance for showers through at least Monday. So much more active, but the cooler temperatures definitely a good thing after how warm it's been in recent days. Yeah, we definitely need it after all this flooding and mudslides we're seeing. Yeah, just the wild card will be just how much moisture we see, because if we see more moisture with kind of things being unstable, that could lead to more issues. And we'll keep our eye on it. Thank mm -hmm. you, Thomas.